Today we will be performing a battery replacement for the Haas SR100 sheet router. Upon initial startup, we receive several errors. The first error that we receive is error 124, low battery. This is the error that we're going to correct today in this video. I'm going to reset the control panel to clear the errors. Now before I start this procedure of battery replacement, I need to back up any and all settings and files in the system so that in case something does happen, I have a backup that I can reload. I'm going to be backing this up to a USB drive. First I'm going to push list programs and that will bring up my program window. Here I can select between memory and USB. I want to select USB, press right enter to open that device up. Then I'm going to press F4. I'm going to select save all hyphen backup. But before I press right enter, I'm going to name my file. Then I'm going to push right enter. And we can see that the disk is done, so it has backed up all of those files. Once that has completed, we can see there are several files that are identified as Haas backup. Currently our machine is turned on and we will need to keep it on throughout the duration of this repair until we have switched out the battery. Next we need to shift our focus to the back side of the machine where our electrical panel is. Using the keys supplied with the machine we can unlock our electrical panel. Inside we have a couple different circuit boards that are covered by shields. For this repair we will be working on the top left circuit board. Before touching anything inside of this machine we want to make sure and wear our anti-static wrist strap to help prevent electrical shock or static electricity to the machine or circuit board. We want to remove all of our hold down screws. After all of our hold down screws have been removed, we can take off the metal shield covering the circuit board. Taking a look at the circuit board, we can see that the battery is located in the upper right hand corner. One of the challenges with this project is that this battery is soldered in to the circuit board on both sides. Now one method of fixing this would be to purchase a new battery with leads and solder that in. An alternative is to purchase a battery holder which will allow us to easily remove and replace the battery in the future. If you take a look at the underside of the battery holder you'll see that there are two leads that will fit into our circuit board. To do this, I'm going to be using a good quality soldering iron, de-soldering wick, tip cleaner for my soldering iron, and new solder. There is one lead on the negative side of the battery and two leads on the positive side of the battery that need de-soldering. During this process, you want to be very careful that you don't touch any metal parts on the circuit board because you don't want to short out any components. We're also going to clip the zip tie that's holding the battery in. Now I'm going to go back and clean up some of this leftover solder. At this point I'm going to see how my battery holder fits in and just verify that that will fit correctly. 
to solder the battery holder in, we need to get access to the back of the board. And to do this, I need to locate my five hold down screws, one in each corner and then one in the center. We're gonna take a look at the bottom right one first. And if you take a look at the bottom right one, we see that there is a ground clamp on this one. So I'm going to remove this first. During this procedure, the machine is turned on. So we want to be extra careful as we are removing these components that we are not touching anywhere on the machine that might give us an electrical shock. And then go around and remove all of the other screws. And also our center screw. And then very carefully we can remove the board and pivot that out. Having placed the battery holder in the correct location and in the correct direction, the leads will be visible through the back side of the board where you want to apply just a little bit of solder to form a good connection and hold the battery holder in place. Once both leads have been soldered from the back of the board, we can install our center hold down screw for our circuit board. After you reinstall one of the circuit board hold down screws, I want to take a look at the battery holder and double check that it is in the correct orientation and that it is securely installed. Next we can reinstall the rest of our hold down screws. And don't forget to reconnect our ground. Now it is time to install a new battery, also making sure it is in the correct orientation. And we can replace our safety shield. And reinstall our screw caps. And we can close and lock our door. Now we can cycle off our machine and then turn it back on. And when everything boots up, we no longer have our low battery error. And as I take a look at the settings that I previously had in the system, they are all still there. We can reset our machine and we're ready to go.